This publication outlines the difficulties connected with the closure of the Beaton Baptist Chapel, where the trust deed and title to the chapel was not registered with HM Land Registry. The Beaton Chapel belonged to the church, called the Society of Strict and Particular Baptist, which was formed in 1831, and its entitlement to membership and rules are recorded in the title deed and indenture of the same date. David Clark was received as a member of the church in 1976. Mr Clark was appointed the secretary to deal with all the various matters of the church. The church became a gospel standard licited course on the 16th of January 1981 and adopted their rules of conduct. Mr Clark was called by the Lord and sent by the church to preach the gospel in 1982 and preached in many gospel standard churches until 1984. Mr Clark seceded from the church in 1984 over matters of conscience as the church had turned aside from teaching particular redemption and held to unscriptural views relating to the law of Moses. They also turned from teaching the scriptural views of particular redemption. Mr Clark remained an honourable member of the church as his membership was never terminated by the church as they wanted him to return. This was in accordance with their strict rules relating to church membership. Mr Clark took up his call to preach and went on a mission work to the Philippines in 2001 teaching the gospel to many prison inmates in New Billy Prison and Monte Lupa City and appointed William Ola Pollock as a sent minister to preach the gospel to Baguio City in the Philippines in 2002. In the 20 years since, William Pollock has established 10 affiliated Christ-centred churches and a theological institute and three jail ministries throughout the Philippines. On Mr Clark's return to the UK in 2003, the Association of Grace Baptist Churches refused him permission to use the chapel and refused to return the trust deed of the Beaton Chapel to him, denying that he was the sole remaining member of the Beaton and Strict and Particular Baptist Church. The association also denied that the Beaton Church was a gospel standard cause until proved otherwise. This association had not been elected by the church as trustees, which the trustees specifies must take place, and so had no lawful right to register the title deed in their name or sell the chapel. This book tells a story and is submitted to the association with a view to put matters right and return the monies realised from the sale of the Beaton Chapel in 2006 in order for Mr Clark to continue the function of Beaton Strict and Particular Baptists. I now invite you to view an interview between myself and Eleanor Mary McCann in which the whole story is unfolded. <laughs> 